I did watch the four shorts, only one of which is nominated by Wes Anderson. Oh. Oh. The Wonderful Story of Henry Sugar. They're all on Netflix. They were Mm -hmm. last year. Everyone is behind the times. Uh, No, I've watched some of them. There you go. Good job. Only one is getting the attention. All these are original Roald Dahl stories, Mm -hmm. um, of which I have not read. Uh, I don't know why I don't know about these, but I don't. However, he treated them in kind of a... It's been coming on in the French Dispatch and Asteroid City in a very theater troupe type of way, Mm. uh, including moving visible sets and stagehands awesome Mm -hmm. Uh, but then basically a core group of five actors Mm. uh, that are in basically all of them and are your main characters and you don't get any other main characters I mean look this is a fantastic group Ray Fiennes plays Roald Dahl and you're like apparently they did an incredible recreation of Roald's house and writing room that's uh, you know he went and visited Wested and then they recreated it and it looks insane and totally fits Wes's style and you're like great job got it he also plays a couple other parts throughout all these uh, Benedict Cumberbatch is obviously the lead of our initial wonderful story of Henry Sugar because he's Henry Sugar and then we have Ben Kingsley and then we have Richard Iowati and Dev Patel they're all fantastic these stories are kind of you know the Henry Sugar one is more positive than some of the other ones. Uh-huh. Yes, uh, The I other agree. ones are less positive. They all do, you feel their age a little bit. They all are set, you know, just where Rold set them. And they are a style that you can kind of feel, you know, they are on the fringes of some of his other stories that kind of come to the fore. And you're like, oh, wow, this is a different period of history and a different uh, take and, you know, reality that Rold lived. But they're still fun to a degree, and it's still fun to see the people do these things. And you're like, wow, this is insane. Why? Who would write this story? All right, great. And I had no idea that is what it would be about. So look, they're fun. Uh, I do appreciate, uh, as opposed to Asteroid City or French Dispatch, look, they're separated. These are separate stories, even though we have this one tie together of Roald, the author, who appears, I think, maybe in all of them. Mm -hmm. But no, they're actually separate. So thanks for keeping them separate, Wes. Mm -hmm. There's four of them that are called, you mentioned the wonderful story of Henry Sugar. Correct. The Rat Catcher. Correct. Poison. Correct. And then The Swan. Correct. If you go to Netflix, they're kind of all backed, you know, bookend together under Wes Anderson. One of the things that those movies lately I find challenging is the cadence of the dialogue. There's very little range of emotion. And so, to be totally blunt, the last three things I've watched of him, I absolutely fall asleep during them. And I am a huge Wes Anderson fan. And I love it, but it's like, it almost like lulls me to sleep and I'm like, oh my gosh. Because it just, the I mean, they just, he... They're all excellent at it, the the troop of five actors that you talked about, but there's something about it. It's like, because it doesn't engage you with highs or lows for the most part in the dialogue. It is very much one cadence or tone. Being critical, I, I, I do agree that is part of the problem I feel with Asteroid City and French Dispatch. Mm-hmm. In these, uh, you know, you get away with a little bit more in a short. Um, now the not the nominated one but the other three sometimes suffer a little bit i think uh because it's not that it's less interesting the stories but it's just uh, a tighter focus and you're like um okay you're not giving me a lot here whereas in wonderful story of henry sugar there's kind of enough going on that it sort of overcomes it but i i just enjoyed it a little bit more in these doses as opposed to stretching it out of a whole movie which was much more challenging yeah, and I mean, it's still, if you enjoy Wes Anderson movies, he has a type of, you know, his aesthetic is so good. It's totally present, as John said, and they captured this Roald Dahl world that is like, wow, and the acting's incredible. The other person in French Dispatch, I was just going to go back, that really was like, was Jeffrey Wright. I mean, like, his voice tone, and he's one of my favorite actors, but put Wes Anderson dialogue with him. It's like... That should be on. What's that app to put you to sleep? That. Oh. <laughs> uh, well, uh, it's funny. I had forgotten that uh, he did a movable set in French Dispatch, which was the Jeffrey Wright scene. Yeah. Um, what I'd also forgotten, because uh, he's not in all of them, is Rupert Freend, uh, mm. our man from 
Homeland, and he does a great job in one of them. And, uh, you know, he was also in French Dispatch. Yeah. So um, I enjoyed them, too. They're not some of my top Wes Anderson movies or, you know, um, content. So, look, up to you whether you watch them or not. Uh, the Wonderful Story of Henry Sugar is nominated for live action short. 